I am right now at Alcatraz. What you see behind me is Alcatraz, right by San Francisco. Um, just had a chance to get a tour here. It's interesting because one of the actual inmates was here. He's in his 90s right now, but he was here. And uh, we got a tour of the place. This is a very, very interesting place. But one of the things that intrigued, intrigued, intrigued me the most was, did you know how many books a year the inmates read every single year? Now listen to this. The, the, the Alcatraz had a library with 15,000 books. The average inmate, how many books do you think they read per year? The average inmate read 75 to 100 books per year. And this is what it said. The 15,000 volume in the library include philosophy, fiction, and educational material. Books with sexual, violent, and criminal references were not allowed. Is that not interesting that one must get arrested to read 75 to 100 books per year? And one of the inmates was talking about how, you know, he came in here and from in here when he left, it ended up becoming a way for him to change as a man and his wife was sitting right next to him. And he was forced to read a book and through reading books, he, he had an experience of enlightenment and all of a sudden he started looking at life in a whole different way. He started processing issues in a whole different way and I think everybody could do that. Uh, and I wouldn't wait for a crisis. This is not a message to encourage you to go to prison to have an excuse to read 75 to 100 books a year. This is a challenge to everybody to find a way to discipline yourself to read 75 to 100 books a year and see what happens to your mind, the way you look at the world after doing that. If prisoners in Alcatraz did 75 to 100 books a year, I think you and I can do 75 to 100 books a year as well. Beautiful place, ain't it?